DJI updates. <laughs> when will it ever end? Let's do this. Hello, welcome once again to the channel. And last night, DJI uh, dropped another update for the Mini 3 Pro version 01000900. What does it bring us? Well, usual scenario. Let's look into the video and find out exactly what's going on. So as I've said before in these update videos, behind the scenes, some of you out there have had problems with firmware updates and not being able to update. This is why they bring these firmware updates out in case you've been having any problems with your aircraft itself. So moving on, you can see just here, we've got the Mini 3 Pro version 01000900, fix some known issues. And that's just what I was on about, that not everybody has problems with firmware updates and aircraft problems, but some of you behind the scenes where they contact DJI, they get these issues and this is why DJI bring these releases out. Anyway, looking into the video a little further, whilst this is downloading, what we can do is go back into the menus and just show you what you should be on. 010800 and the fly out version is 1.13.10. As we know, some of you are still struggling to get that. So after the update, you can see 01000900 and the fly out version 1.13.10. Now it's always best to check in your menus. I'm just showing you how it was before. This is, this is how it was set for me before. And then looking into the menus, it's always best to check because when I looked into my menus, I always check for another uh, update just to make sure there's nothing else lurking about. I have known it to uh, update and then there'll be another update straight after. But as I've just showed you how it was before, it's always best to double check the units they're showing in metric but I like to fly in Imperial so that I get the miles per hour. So you can see it's showing in metric so I've changed it back to Imperial. So it's always best to double check your menus and make sure that your settings are set how they was set. Sometimes on an aircraft firmware, they can alter them. And looking through the menus, mine have now been changed to how they was. And as you can see that nothing's actually changed. It's always best to check that your menus are as they were before you did the update. So there's a couple of ways for checking for updates. One is in the about section just here, check for updates. And the other one is in profile settings, click the about tab and check for updates just there. So if one doesn't work, you can always check the other way. So moving on to the flight test. Uh, I always like to come out and do a flight test when we've had a aircraft firmware uh, because you need to make sure that it, it's working and a lot of you out there uh, in the previous video have said that they, uh, they enjoy the fact that I come out and take the time to do this type of flight test uh, because it gives them confidence in downloading the update and as you can see I'm just having a look at the compass just here and that seems to be working absolutely fine. There has been occasions uh, in the past where the compass uh, did go uh, belly up, if you want to call it that. But uh, I just thought I'd just bring it out and just do a couple of uh, short tests, a quick fly around, make sure all the controls are working and make sure that everything's working as it should be. Obviously, I can't cover everything, but I've just done uh, a couple of tests and just switched the compass there uh, to uh, outside just to check because a lot of you were saying that the, the, the compass was jittery. Uh, that's just a characteristic of this controller, unfortunately. But I like to fly with the, the drone in the center and so that the home point and the controller moves around as the aircraft does as well. Just checking on the uh, mode of functions and making sure that the normal cine and sports mode, that they work correctly. I am going to speed this uh, video up. As you can see, we're flying in cine mode, although it looks like we're flying in sports mode. I've speeded it up, but I just wanted to check out all the modes, make sure that they're working correctly as well. Just want to double check the uh, altitude for return to home, because we're going to do a return to home shortly. And we don't want it to be uh, crawling up to 400 feet, so we'll just lower that down to around about 100 feet. 
There is a little shortcut. If you the in-flight status, you can check your return to home just there as well. Okay, we'll just uh, flip it into sports mode. And as you can see, that's working absolutely fine. Although it looks like it's uh, ultra sports mode. <laughs> Oh, like I say, I have speeded it up in ports so, so as not to bore you to death. Got 2930 satellites on this flight, so that's uh, pretty good as well. So that's working absolutely spot on. OK, we'll do a quick return to home. I did have a comment actually come up uh, asking why myself and other YouTubers do this uh, return to home function. And the simple reason is it's not because I'm lazy and I just want the drone to come back to me. It's just checking it actually working. Uh, because you know that that's one of the, the the best features on the mini drones or any drone that's got returned to home is the fact that if you do lose control you have got that confidence that your drone will return to the home point which is a great feature as we all know so yeah normally in a uh, normal flight situation I would just fly it back manually but like I say if you lose signal it's there to return to home just in case Moving on, we're just going to do a quick, quick shot. Um, just uh, one thing that I uh, test. Like I say, it's just a couple of features that I'm going to test uh, today on this uh, test flight. Um, I think actually we'll change his mind today. We'll we'll do a rocket for for a change. Normally do a droney, but we'll do a rocket. You've probably noticed uh, doing quick shots if you do use them that that countdown marker three, two, one that's out of sync with the voice, and that's been like that for quite some time now. So up she goes with the rocket, and that's working absolutely no problem whatsoever. They are quite useful, these quick shots. I don't know whether you guys use them out there, but uh, quick autonomous flight. You can do circles and boomerangs, rockets and dronies, as I'm sure you know. But it's just a, a way of showing that the drone is working as it should. So that one works absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. Just a little compass test just here, as you can see the green dot is pointing towards the drone and as I move around, you can see that that's actually moving. And if you watch me, I'm going to spin right the way around. And as you can see that that's working absolutely spot on as I come back, it's pointing at the drone. So a useful tool is the compass, as we all know. And just to finish off, we'll just take a couple of photos, and make sure that that's working as it should. And as you can see, there's no problem whatsoever. Check the vertical mode, and that works fine. We're doing the photograph in the vertical mode. So we'll call that one a wrap, and we'll summarise it back in the studio. So there we go, in a nutshell, um, <laughs> another bombshell from DJI. The aircraft firmware for the Mini 3 Pro has been um, launched. So as you saw in the video, nothing new, as it wouldn't be because it's not fly update. Uh, but just an aircraft firmware and as you saw from the test flight that worked absolutely spot on uh, One thing I'd like to uh, ask you guys out there um, I did have a comment um, on the last update for the Mini 3 Pro saying that the non-standard DJI batteries the uh, plus batteries uh, are no longer working with the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 4 Pro If you've got one of those batteries you can perhaps let me know whether they are actually working or not I did notice on a forum the other week that uh, somebody said that it's been sorted, but maybe you can answer that. If you leave a comment down below, if you've got one of those non-standard DJI Plus batteries, let me know whether it works or not. Apparently it, it, it fires up the drone, but it doesn't take off. I can't test that because I don't own any. So there we go, that wraps the video up and it's safe enough to download. I've downloaded it, it works absolutely fine. So I know you guys out there like a bit of confidence in these updates and that's why i do these flight tests for you guys out there if you got something out of the video don't forget give us the old thumbs up as always and if you're new around here why don't you consider subscribing dinging the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it i'm taking a short break for a week as i'm uh, flying out out of the country on a summer holiday so there won't be a video for a week or so maybe 10 days something like that but i've got some videos planned and a new drone coming to the channel as well so stick around for that one and you might like to watch those couple of videos over there that i've chosen for you and if you do i shall see you over there thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video